Okay, today we're going to be showing you how to, and this is only a partial part of what you have to do. You have to have a program on your uh, desktop to do this. Uh, what you will do is you go to the App Store and you download a program called, and this is to uh, geotag your photos with a camera, and I'm not talking about the camera that's the phone. I'm talking about a, any camera that has no... Wi-Fi built in. This is just a you know a generic camera that you would use uh, to take pictures. It can be as long as it's a digital camera. It could be an old camera or whatever. So you'll go and download this program. I'm trying to find it here. It's in the. Uh, it's called GeoTag Photos Pro, and you can get. They've got more than one. You got to pay for this one, and I believe it was $4.99. Could have been a dollar ninety-nine. I don't. I think it was $4.99. Uh, basically, you under settings, you'll set up the time of your camera to make sure it is exact same time. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, you'll go through and set up all your distance and notifications and email and all that. Uh, you have to set up a Geotags photo account. And what you will do is once you get everything set up under here, and like I say, this is only part of how to do it, you have to download the app to your regular desktop like uh, you know Windows XP or Windows 7, Windows 8 uh, and you'll start, you'll hit the record button hit new trip, you'll give it a name and I'll just give this a generic name uh, 258 and then uh, you'll take this, you'll hit record now it's recording and uh, your file name is 258 your trip and this is just like a map app it'll bring it up of where you're at now what you do is you keep this phone with you and when you take the photographs the phone is logging all your uh, GPS coordinates as it's taking the pictures so as you see right there uh, it's logging where I'm at and logging uh, basically my information of where I'm at right at this minute uh, you'll have a history and then what you'll do when you get back home, you'll hit stop, and then you'll upload the the log, which uh, and you can also set how often it logs, which if you're taking a lot of photographs, you want it on like 15 seconds, so it'll log enough. You'll upload one position, and that'll upload to the server. And then once you get that on the server, which like I said, I don't have the other video to do, show you actually on the, the Windows machine but this is how you do it under uh, Android uh, you'll upload that and then you'll put your files on your hard drive or you can do it straight from the your SD card or plug the cam camera directly in and then it will geotag those photographs with the coordinates of the GPS and you can do it you can even use multiple cameras if you use more than one camera as long as you sync them up that time that you've got on the cards is syncing up with what it's logging. That's the reason I say if you're going to use more than one camera or you're taking a lot of pictures, you want to put it on the, the setting that's the lowest, which would be 15 seconds, I believe. It, yeah, it's actually 5 seconds. That's the lowest one you got. Put it on that one. It's going to log more spots, but it'll do a better job of tagging and putting your uh, uh, GPS coordinates in where you were actually at when you took the photograph. So, uh, like I said, go to the market, Geotag Photos app, and they do have a, uh, I think they've got an ad version. It's been a while since I downloaded this, so I don't remember if it was free, and then you upgrade to Pro and it gives you some extra stuff. You might have to use the Pro version to get more photographs tagged. I'm, I'm not really, I just don't remember. But uh, great program. Uh, the account's free when you set it up, and you can uh, GPS tag as many photographs as you want. Uh, but you do need to do them because uh, you'll get mixed up if you don't do them all each time when you come in each day. Don't let, you know, three or four days pile up and then try to do them because it, it just makes it a lot more complicated. You can do it, but you need to log each day and then keep up with the files each day when you shoot. And then you can have it log with each file that you set. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me again, I hope this helps uh, geotagging your photographs. And uh, be sure to tune in for more gadgets here on Gadget Pro.
be sure to subscribe and hit that like button if this helped you out at all. Thanks again.